Lapel Tutorial Part 47 In Out Socket Module. Now we can emulate a browser with the In Out Socket Module and download a web page. Web servers use port 80 for HTTP connections, so we can just connect to that port and send an HTTP request and download our web page. So first of all we load our module. Now we need to set up our connection to the port on the server so let's create a variable socket equals in out socket inet new now we're just going to put some attributes in here first of all proto then peer address and peer port now proto equals TCP Now let's try this website. Berm.co.nz and now our port 80. We don't need a comma at the end since this is the last attribute. We have to auto flush our connection. like so. So after we've connected to the port we have to send an HTTP GET request to get the file from the web server so we print our GET request. Now we have to state explicitly what the name of the file is. So I want to get the file berm.co.nz slash video slash index.php. So you have to know the name of the file. So video slash index.php. Now we continue on with our request so we type in HTTP slash 1.0 now we have to put the return and new line characters in except we do that with numbers instead of the R's and the N's so we go 015 012 013 like so. And now while our socket is open we can write our information to file. So let's open using our file handle, our file txt now we can use a while loop while our socket is open like so we can print 
our file handle. We can close with our file handle and then we have to close the socket. Like so. Now if we save our script and come to our Perl work directory and let's run our script. And let's come to our directory. And here's our result. So here is the header, some of the header information. 200, OK, the date, server information, and here's our web page below. Now just one thing I want to point out, if you're on a shared server, you might want to try connecting to the port like this. You would type in your the server address there. Now you would put your username here. and the page name here, index.html perhaps. So that's how to connect and download a web page within OutSocket.